is Andrea Towers with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com at New York Comic Con, and I am here with the cast of Star Trek Discovery. Hello, and the Hi. creative team of Star Trek Discovery. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Great. How are you? I am good. So you just unveiled a pretty cool little tease of season five. Yeah, it was the first time I saw it, too. I mean, not your first time, but <laughs> definitely my first time. So, no, we were blown away by it because, you know, we've been working on it since June. So it was the first time we kind of saw except from a little sizzle, uh, the first time we kind of saw some of it pulled together. So it's, that's always really exciting. So what was it like being in that room and hearing the fans' reactions and seeing their excitement when you put that footage up there? It was pretty awesome. It was pretty, it's, it's always pretty exciting to get to um, release footage for the very first time. It's, it's the same feeling when the episodes come out because we work on them for so long. It takes so long to get any given episode done that when people finally get to see it, it's something pretty special. And that's a huge haul, you know, yes. and, and it was packed. And so there were Which I didn't know until the lights came right, up. Right. And then the <laughs> lights came up and, and we're like, oh, look at all these people. people. <laughs> uh, but um, it's always, you know, we do this for the fans, right? We're excited for their reaction. So it was. It was uh, gratifying, to say the least. Well, I was going to say, you're now going into season five. Have you seen the fan base change over the, the course of the show um, in terms of you know, how dedicated people are or the amount of people that have come in to, to the show since you started? Yes. Um, you know, I think, you know, when we when we first appeared, you know, the, it was a it was a new Star Trek. It was a um, it, it, we, we had a new take on it. Um, and I think it took people a minute to adjust, and now they are on the ride with us. Um, and they discovered these new characters and really embraced them. And um, I think they appreciate the fact that our cast looks like the world mm -hmm. um, and, and celebrates all of the diversity that's within that world. And, um, and that we see that you can put together a team of people who save the world that are infinitely combined and infinitely diverse. Oh. Well, I mean, one of the things that Star Trek has always been great about through its entire generations of years that it's been on um, is it's always been uh, kind of about diversity. It's always given people a chance to see themselves, no matter how different they are, to feel accepted with the crew of people who, you know, appreciate you. Um, for you, Wilson, um, how is it to bring your character to life kind of, um, you know, contributing to that incredible diversity uh, that the show has? You know... To be half of the first gay couple on Star Trek TV uh, in the beginning was just that was overwhelming enough for us, for Anthony and I. Um, to do it together with Anthony Rapp, who has been my friend for um, almost 30 years, uh, 26 years. You got your red years. buddies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, uh, to do it with him, this man, this actor that I respect so much, um, has been amazing. But to see where Dr. Culber started. Um, you know, I could. I think I'm safe to say where he was basically in the beginning, Stamets' boyfriend, right? His partner, his husband. But now he has come into his own, and it's ironic that it took his death, really, to spoiler alert, uh, to, <laughs> <laughs> to um, for him to come uh, and start figuring out what was important to him, what kind of life he wanted to lead, what 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 he needed to put aside and what he wanted to focus his life on um, and, and what kind of life he wanted to lead um, has been really exciting for me to play. Uh, you know, I've said this before, and I, I know it's not what they are thinking when they're writing this, but for me, he's a, a metaphor for all of the people that I lost in the 80s and 90s. Uh, it's for people who lived through the AIDS epidemic who thought they were going to die. And when these drugs came out and saved their lives, had to take a look at what worked and what didn't work. And for me, I think about those people all of the time. You know, people who decided to live their lives fully for the first time because they were so um, confronted with death. I love that. And that, that also, that, like I said, that speaks to so much of what the Star Trek universe is. Um, and I know, you know, I know you had your little teaser that you put out, um, but what do you think fans are gonna be most excited to see in season five? Without spoiling anything, that's why from your perspective, that's, that's, that's why, why she gets. Next to her, that's why so she gets she can, this question. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if there's one thing in particular, but we, um, I, I think they'll be excited. Generally speaking, about the season, you know, we. Uh, there was um, a bit of heaviness in season when we came into season three. Jump to the future, come into season three, and the Federation was as 
uh, almost decimated. And season four, we had the DMA. And coming into this season, we talked a lot about doing a tonal shift. Uh, those were the first things that Alex and I talked about at the start of the season. So I feel like um, uh, people will be excited for that because there's, uh, there's certainly an action adventure, a, a light component to it that was very deliberate. Uh, and I think the adventure of the season is pretty fun. You know, it, gets, it gives us a chance to go to some different places and meet some different people. And uh, it's a fun quest. And it's been exciting and fun for us to play, right? To to kind of have this new adventure to focus on as opposed to, you know, the end of the world and the universe and the galaxy and you know what I mean? But it's like bring a little light to Well there's to a, the, I mean listen, kind we're of, still yeah. we're still discovery and there's still <laughs> high stakes. Don't get us wrong. But they're different kinds of stakes. Good. But it's it's a very human show. Um, well, yes, and, because yeah. you know, it's no accident that it's called Discovery, yeah. right? These people are not just discovering new planets and galaxies and species, but they're also discovering who they are and their strengths and their weaknesses and who they are in a team and what it takes, what kind of a team it takes to save the universe. And so how much fun are you having with the show being a part of this universe, just writing for it, acting in it? Is it like a total dream come true that you get to go to Comic-Con and say, Cool, I'm a part of Star Trek, and I get to to show that to people. Yeah, I mean, I it's mean, amazing. Uh, yeah, I, you go. And when I, I, you know, if you had told me when I was a 15 year old kid watching Star Trek Gen um, uh, Next Gen uh, that I was going to be on Star Trek, uh, I, I would have called you crazy, right? <laughs> uh, so it's it's literally a dream come true. Literally, like I would have, I would have been happy with the five episodes I was first contracted <laughs> for, and somehow I'm still here five years later. And yeah, and I uh, grew up watching the original series, and I'm a science nerd anyway. You know, I get my New Scientist and Wired <laughs> magazines, and I'm ooh, yay, they're here. <laughs> and so getting to do a Star Trek show is is pretty amazing. And now you do that for a living. Now you can translate yeah. all that science into yes. something people watch, and it's great. Yes, and <laughs> people actually like it. People <laughs> like hearing about that. It's not shut See, up. Nerds are cool, yeah. right? Yeah. Stop exactly. with the quantum this and that. It's people are excited. I mean, it's 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 surreal, right? I mean, Tracy Morgan did, had this this joke uh, on um, on Thirty Rock in one of the seasons where he says, "Why aren't there any Puerto Ricans in in on Star Trek?" and well, now there are, you know? So, I mean, like, it was so absurd that someone mm. like me would be on Star Trek that it would never occur to me. And yet, here I am. And the fact that we get to kind of explore that culture and, and all of who he is, it's, it's literally a dream come true. Right. Well, I can't wait for season five. It looks fantastic. Thank you, guys. You can catch Star Trek Discovery when it returns on Paramount Plus in 2023.